everybody, this is the iMovie Geek and today we are going to be looking at picture in picture keyframe. So let's get started. So if I grab curtain, bring it over, make sure it is picture in picture. And you see right here where these little knobs are, you can make it so that way it's not so faded. And I just look at the corner and it's faded. So if you bring it towards here, it's more bold. So then if you play it, you see right here, this is called a keyframe. So we click it, we move it, then press play, then pause, keyframe, move it. You can move it anywhere you want. You can do it up, or you can do it down, you can do it left, you can do it right, you can do a spike. Press play, keyframe. And sadly, it only works for picture in picture. I haven't found a way for text yet, but I'm sure that there is a way. But this is not something you'd expect in iMovie. Normally, you would expect it in Final Cut 10, which is $300, and I don't want to spend $300 for a dang editor. And as soon as we're done, this is what it will look like. I guess I guess that's done. So let's take a look. And you don't have to move it. You can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I upload every Monday and have a happy Veterans Day.